Okay, let's jump into NetSuite and take a look at how you can create a custom record in the system. We're going to do this by looking at a specific use case where we will create a project record in the system. It's going to be a very basic one. It won't be fully functional, but nonetheless, it should give you an idea as to how you can create a custom record in the system. So to do that, let's navigate to the customization tab in the top menu bar. We'll go to lists, records, and fields, record types, and new. Okay, let's move the video over here. Let's go ahead and give our custom record type a name. And in this case, let's go with company project. Now it's important that you give all of your custom records um, a unique ID, one that you will remember. So company, let's go with project custom. Um, I'm the owner of the record because I'm creating it. Always give your record a description as well so that other users know what the purpose of this record is for. So let's go with basic project management record. And do we want to include the name field um, on the record? So depending upon whether you plan to call out the name of the project as a custom field on your custom record, you may or may not want to check that box. I'm going to keep it checked so you can see the impact once we save the record. Um, there's a number of different options here. Do we want to show the creation date, last modified date? Um, let's say in this case that we do want to include the last modified date. We want to know when was the last time that someone modifies this project record in the system. Um, if we want to show the owner as well, um, I don't think that's necessary in this case. In terms of access type, there's three different options in terms of giving users the permission to access this particular record. Um, we can do so by referencing the permissions tab, um, which would be the use permission list. We have no permissions at all, which is generally not recommended. And the default um, setting and the recommended um, option is to require custom record entries permission on the role permissions itself. So there's um, a custom records permission and then once we create this company project record, a new custom record um, user role permission will be created on all user roles in the system. We then need to go ahead and add that to the roles that should have access to this custom record. So for now, I'm going to keep it as the default setting. Um, now, some of the kind of user interface um, options here, do we want to allow UI access, mobile access? Uh, attachments. It's all very intuitive as you go through it. It can look daunting at first with the number of checkboxes available, but they're all pretty intuitive. Um, show the remove link is one that's a little different. So just going to the help here. Basically, what this will allow you to do is if you keep this box checked, when you create child records, and we're going to do that shortly, um, of a custom record, you then have the ability to unlink them by clicking on the remove um, feature that's available. If you don't want to give your users the option to unlink parent-child records in the system, which is generally recommended, then you want to uncheck that box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to allow um, this in terms of quick search, quick add, these are features um, that you can add to your um, NetSuite dashboard um, as separate portlets, you should check that out. Um, System notes, generally speaking, you want to include those so you can see the history of the record, who's modified it, when, and what they did. Now, in terms of global search um, and the search menu, so global search first, that's the menu bar at the top. Do you want this record to be searchable in global search? So definitely you want to give thought to that, whether that makes sense or not. Um, for the most part, you want your users to be able to access this custom record through global search but perhaps you've created a record that's part of a bigger um, development effort and you wouldn't want your users necessarily searching for that. So really give that some thought. In terms of the search menu, um, that's talking about the saved search menu. So either now or in the future, do you want your users um, to have the ability to create a saved search based upon um, the records of this record type? Generally speaking, I would say yes. Even if you don't think you need it right away, you may need to access that data in the future. So why not make it available as a potential safe search?
Optimistic locking is um, really a good kind of safety feature in NetSuite to make sure that if two users are modifying the same record at the same time, once the first user commits their changes and clicks save, the other user is going to receive an error message when they try to save. So in general, keep that checked. Um, inline editing is, if you've used that feature before, it allows you to modify um, certain field values on a record from a list view, as opposed to directly going into the record. So those are some of the key check boxes that you should keep in mind when you're setting up your custom record. Now, before we go into any of the other tabs, I'm gonna go ahead and save this record because once we do that, NetSuite is going to generate additional tabs. Okay, so now we can go back to our company project and you'll see um, an increased number of tabs that are available to us. Some of them are only displayed once you've saved the initial record. Well, now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and create some of the fields that will be available on our company project record. So let's start um, with the project title. So it's just going to be a standard text field here. Let's go with company project title. Again, you want your records and fields to be named as uniquely as possible. Um, you should give um, unique IDs. I'm gonna skip over that for now, just for time's sake. Um, and this should work. So let's go ahead, save and new. And now we want to have a description for our project. Go ahead and add that. That will be a free text field as well. Let's just add one more. Um, all projects should have a project manager. So let's make sure we have one. And this time it's going to be um, a list specifically from um, our employee list. Let's go ahead and save that. So now on our custom record, uh, being company project, we're going to have three different custom fields. Let's go ahead now um, and save this and create a new company record, okay, company project record. Okay, there we go. So now on screen, you can see we have the name field. If you recall, we kept that checkbox checked on the custom record type. So that's displayed here. We can give um, the company project a name. But as you can see, we've added company project title um, project description and project manager. Given that we have title, we probably want to remove the name. Notice here on screen, we have notes and files available as sub tabs of the company project record. Let's navigate back to the custom record now and see what additional features and sub tabs we can add to this record. So now we're going to go to the list of record types and we're going to click on company project. So now let's navigate to the sub tabs um, section and we're going to add um, a new sub tab for project milestones. Now shortly you're going to see that um, we're going to create a child record for the company project and we're going to do that to capture specific project milestones. So we may have one project but multiple milestones to deliver that project. So we can capture those milestones on a separate sub tab within the company project record. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, in addition, now let's take care of the permissions. So if you recall, we have our access type set to um, require custom record entries. Now, if you chose to, you can select use permission list and populate the list, the, the roles and the access here. Again, that's not recommended, but that's how you would do it. So let's say you wanted the accountant to have edit access to this record, you can go ahead and set that up here. Again, for now, we're gonna set it back to the recommended um, option of requiring um, the custom record entries permission. Very good. Now you'll notice here in terms of child records, there's no way to actually add a child record directly to this parent record in the system. You actually need to go ahead and create a new custom record type in the system and then link the two. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. 